Boys and girls, thank goodness you're back. I've been thinking a lot about Borschman's weakness, metal stuff. Ooh. And I'm hoping all you trainees out there don't have that same weakness because mm. I'm looking around our training facility and we got, I mean, we got so much metal around here. We're never gonna meet Borschman. Borschman, <laughs> you can't come near this place, bro. But you know, it is coming near. <gasps> it's a, a metal star. Okay, wow, um, that one blew in real quick. Hey guys, Mailstorm, if you have a question, have your parent help you, send it to mailstorm at gfczone.tv. Now Miss Alex, this month in Mailstorm has probably been my favorite because we've been receiving not just questions, not just letters, but mm -hmm. some drawings. Yes. Some really creative drawings of your own superheroes. And we've actually given it a name. Mm -hmm. We've called this segment Superhero Gallery. That was nice. Um, do you have some more drawings today? Oh my gosh. Yes. Let's open them. All right, here we go. Okay. So our first one, oh, very nice, comes from Madison. And her hero's name is Mysteria. And her power is flying. Oh, well, that's very mysterious. Mm. Um, if I saw a female superhero flying through the sky, I'd be wondering all about her. Where would you fly to, boys and girls, if you could fly anywhere? What about you, Miss Alex? Um, maybe London, because I've got a good British accent. Do you think that they would appreciate your accent there? Yeah, I think they would. All right, well, let's see which, <laughs> which, oh, this is, <laughs> this is very good. Um, I'm very interested to see what this is all about. This is from Tucker. Tucker, thank you for your creative superhero. Um, <laughs> This superhero's name is Man Man, mm. uh, which I love. Uh -huh. Are you ready for this superpower? <laughs> yeah. All the power of a 30 year old. <laughs> you know, you laugh, but 30 year olds, they, they get some stuff done. Okay. Right? Do you see any resemblance? I'm in my 30s. Uh, he says, I'm aging. Okay, so no resemblance, because okay. I'm still very young. Okay. All right, thank you. Do you have another one? Yes, I do. Let's see which one. Oh, this is colorful. Ooh. This one is from Anna. Hi, Anna. And her superhero's name is Super Sweet. Super Sweet! And her power, it says, any sweet you want, Super Sweet makes. Okay, so we've got basically a superhero vending machine mm -hmm. here. Okay, you turn on the sweet signal, all right? Yeah. Okay. She comes flying in, and then you're like, oh, thank goodness you're here. I want some Skittles. And she's got you. Look, her um, arm is a lollipop and her feet are cookies. And don't forget her other arm. <laughs> which is a pie. Which is a pie that's... or a muffin. I don't know. Or a muffin pie. Oh, that's cute. But I like super sweet. And uh, I, I feel like all of your superheroes are just so creative. Oh. Hey, bravo, bravo. Mm -hmm. This has been Superhero Gallery. Oh. But we do have one more letter somewhere. Here it is, here it is. This is an actual question. Okay, so we're gonna see, this is from Josh. Josh is in fifth grade. How many fifth graders out there? We love you guys. Uh, I think I need the Holy Spirit's help to understand the Bible. It's confusing. Mm. You know what, Josh? You are right. The Bible can be confusing. It's like a puzzle that you're always putting together. Yeah. Have any of you ever given up on a puzzle before? Oh my gosh, all yeah. the time. Uh, especially when there's like just a few pieces missing. Arr! Yeah, for me, my limit for puzzles, 300 piece. Won't go past that. That's pretty impressive. I think I've done 1,000, but I'm not gonna brag. Um, listen, when the Bible becomes confusing to us, Josh, we want to give up, but it's only confusing at first. Mm -hmm. If we decide not to give up, if we decide to decode the truth with the Holy Spirit's help, sometimes we're pretty amazed at what we find. Oh yeah. And so to talk about this a little bit more, let's take a trip. Oh yeah. Look at this, look at that. Ooh, this is the last issue with the last, we got the last one. Boys and girls, we got it. Issue number two, we got the last one on the shelf. I'm so excited. And we're reading it right now. We're gonna so, read it right now. Let's yeah. go, come on, you're coming with us. Let's go. All right, boys and girls, let's crack this puppy open. Now, in the first book of the Bible, Genesis, there is a boy named Joseph who God gives a dream. And in this dream, Joseph learns that he's going to be a powerful ruler, more powerful than his father and his brothers. Ugh, it looks like his brothers do not like that idea. I mean, they beat him up and they sold him into slavery. He, he became a prisoner. And that's not what God said was gonna happen. A prisoner is not a ruler. What's going on? This is confusing. I know, it's very confusing. But remember, we're not gonna ignore God's words when they're confusing. Instead, we're gonna use the Holy Spirit's help yeah. to decode the truth. Now, right. even though things look bad for a while, see, mm -hmm. Joseph being a prisoner actually led to Joseph being a servant. 
which led to him being a helper, which led to him being a leader, which led to him being ruler over all the land of Egypt. Aha, uh -huh. so he actually did become more powerful than all his brothers. Yeah, you see how that works, boys and girls? So even though God's words didn't make sense for a very, very long time, they finally ended up being proven by the Holy Spirit as true. Mm. Now, like any good decoder, the Holy Spirit likes to take his time revealing the truth. This is super obvious when we look at a group of guys called the prophets, okay? These were ancient messengers of God. Ooh, the prophets, they sound cool. Oh, they were cool, but just so you know, back in the day, the prophets weren't thought of as cool. Everybody kind of thought they were crazy because the stuff they said didn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh. Yeah. Um, they did say some pretty confusing stuff. Well, like what? Well, I'll show you. One prophet, a guy named Isaiah, he said this. In Isaiah 53, 5, he said that he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Hmm, it sounds like he's talking about someone we know. Who do you think he's talking about, boys and girls? Yep, mm -hmm. Jesus, that's what I was thinking too. Exactly right. I mean, he is talking about Jesus, but this is the most amazing part. Oh. Isaiah said all of this hundreds of years before Jesus was even born. Wait, wait, wait. So he predicted the future? I mean, yeah, in a way, he said something very true before anybody else could realize it. So for a long time, those words were pretty confusing, right? Mm. But when Jesus came along, he gave up his life for all of our sins on a cross, and then he rose from the dead three days later. Isaiah's words now start to make a whole lot more sense. It was the Holy Spirit decoding truth when the time was just right. Oh, it's like truth decoding power. Exactly right. Now, the good news is the Holy Spirit, he's still decoding truth right now. Oh. Mm -hmm. John 16, 13 says, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. We are back. Yes. And you know, as we're listening to the Holy Spirit and learning from the Holy Spirit, sometimes it's a little confusing. Yeah. Sometimes he starts to help us to understand. But if it is confusing, here's what we can do. We can ask the Holy Spirit for help. Yeah. Because even when we're confused, the Holy Spirit can help us to start to see those puzzle pieces slowly come together. Yeah. So don't worry, Josh. Even though that the Bible can be a little hard to decode sometimes, stick with it. Don't give up. You know, Joseph, he went from prisoner to ruler. Isaiah, someone who everyone thought was crazy, to a messenger. Mm -hmm. So we just have to get through the confusion with truth. It's true. Remember our Bible table verse. Acts 1.8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere. It's all right there, boys and girls. You just got to ask the Holy Spirit to help power you, which is our big idea. Oh yeah. I love how that works. All right, boys and girls, up on your feet because Woo. trainees of Power You, we are gonna do our big idea on the count of three. One, two, three. Let the Holy Spirit power you! Nice, that was great. As usual, guys, you nailed it. Now, sit up straight and tall because the training has just begun and say hello to your campus leader. Bye.